And this is right before it licked my head. You were so crazy. You're the craziest life. Mm -hmm. This is the mountain I ascended. This is me on top of the mountain. Are you doing push-ups up there? Mm -hmm. I'm humping the mountain to show dominance. Josh is showing me pictures from his trip. Want to see? This is the ocean I swam. Mm, this is that boat that I built to sail to that undiscovered island oh. I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the island. And the- Oh god! Ah! Oh! It's, it's just a before picture! I, and that's it, it's, it's just a before picture! I saw your balls! It's a before picture! Everybody takes them! Why are you posed like that? It's natural! It's my natural state! Harris? Eris? You can hurt me no longer. By my balls. You are blind. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes mystery out of the effects and techniques school of some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today on the episode, we're doing the blindness effect that you see from Game of Thrones. Since I'm super excited that Game of Thrones is back on TV, of course, the only downside to that being that Josh is going to be impossible to work with for the next few months. Winter is coming. But on the bright side, I do get Game of Thrones back. So let's do some eyeball magic. When getting the actual shot that we're gonna be doing the effect to, I kept the camera loose to give it some life, which is gonna help sell the effect in the end, and also ask my actor not to blink. Mainly because we're lazy and don't wanna to have to roto every time he closes his eye. But once we have everything shot, we bring that into our compositor of choice, which of course, as you know for me, is After Effects, but you can still accomplish the same idea using other software like HitFilm, Nuke, Motion, or whatever else that you might use that I'm not thinking of, because I don't love you. Inside of After Effects, I'm gonna be creating a null layer and naming it Left Eye Null, or Ducks, and set this as the target layer in the point tracker. Typically, we would use Mocha to track, but because the eyes have very tiny nuanced movements, we're going to use After Effects point tracker. This is basically exploiting the downside of the point tracker and turning it into a positive, since the point tracker can be a bit jittery, which usually isn't a good thing, but with the eye having that type of movement, it works nicely. We set our point to the corner of an eye reflection, but put the feature center to match the size of the pupil and the search offset to encompass the iris because we only want the eye movement. Now we hit track forward and adjust if we have to as we go. Later on, we'll have to make some manual adjustments, but this speeds up the initial process by just letting it go for the most part because we're lazy. But after you're happy with the track, apply it to the layer. For the watch! <laughs> Ow! It's rubber, but it still hurts! Winter is coming. For the foggy eye, we'll take the footage that we shot of the eye close-up and make a new comp. Then you'll right-click the layer and click Time Freeze Frame, and then desaturate the eye. Next, center your anchor point on the middle of the pupil, then add a mask around the iris and add a feather edge to help it blend. After that, we'll color correct the eye so that it's lighter and it looks a little more foggy. Then the last thing here that we're gonna do is add a light blue solid layer above the eye to help fog out the pupil even more, like so. We feathered that a bit to help blend the edges and then added a tritone to dial in the subtle blue color a little more. Next, we wanna give it some texture, so we will grab a marble texture image like this, add it on top of everything, and then add a mask that is roughly the same size as the eye. Next, desaturate the texture, change the blending mode to overlay, and change the opacity to about 30%, and then we are done with the foggy eye look. We'll come back to this comp after the next part as well, but before we do that, let's sponsor a little.
If you are someone who struggles with tax stuff, listen up. Our friends at FreshBooks have created ridiculously simple cloud accounting software that helps service-based small business owners get a handle on their paperwork. FreshBooks keeps all your cash flow details in one place so you know exactly what invoices you sent, who has paid you what, and what your income is. Their mobile app lets you take pictures of your receipts and organize them for later, which makes claiming expenses at tax time a breeze. You'll be so much more prepared and way less stressed. Right now, FreshBooks is offering a free 30-day trial. Just go to freshbooks.com forward slash film right and enter film right in the how did you hear about us section. Logo. And we're back. So now we will attach the eye to our main footage comp. Take the eye comp and line it up to your eye. In our case, this is what it looked like, which there is a nice trick that you can do to line things up without messing with opacity. Set the eye layer to the divide blending mode and the areas that match the layer beneath it will be darker and the areas that don't will be lighter. As you can see here, the white part is where it's way off. It helps get everything lined up perfectly. Now, once you align the eye to your starting frame, you'll attach it to the left eye knoll that we added our tracking to from before then on your eye layer, make sure you have motion blur turned on. And like I mentioned before, your track probably won't be 100% perfect. So just set the keyframes on the eye layer and move the eye so that it's centered. It'll take a little TLC, but you'll get it looking lovely. Kneel to your Lord Commander. Then we'll color correct the eye so it looks correct in the scene and more foggy because it looks cool. And now you're done with the eye effect. Next, we will work on the transition. So go back to the main eye comp, create a layer above the eye layer and make a mask that is a little bit bigger than the eye. So now shut this layer's view off and set the eyeballs layer track mat underneath to alpha. Then set a keyframe on the mask path and drag it to where you want the transition to end. After that, go to where you want the transition to start and scale down the mask. It helps to use easing so it isn't just this abrupt transition. And then here we have our mask. Next, we're going to want to add some variation to the white solid matte layer so it's not just this perfect growing circle, which is boring. So we'll add a roughened edges effect to it like so. And here are the settings that we used, but this is just another one of those things where it's best to just toy around until you get that perfect look for what you're going for. But inside those parameters on evolution, we alt click on the stopwatch, then type the expression time asterisk 100. On that layer's rotation, we did the same, but this time we used the expression time asterisk 25. No, because it was just mental torment. He made him think he was, because no. he was supposed to be eating it, but it was like sausage. No, he was taunting him. Yeah, I was like, he really hacked I it off. Chopped Red it. wedding! Red wedding! Red wedding! But yeah, he's a total unit. Yeah, they mailed it to his dad. They don't and if you followed along with all that, you should get the effect working pretty easily. But a few things to keep in mind after the fact is you might need to blur the eye layer in the main comp just a bit if it appears too sharp. You may have to mask around the top and bottom of the eye if it starts to overlap the eyelids. And you can add more interesting transitions by using multiple layers of smoke assets such as Video Copilot Shockwave assets. Layer them up to get something really unique, which we did do a little bit here, but didn't really get into that in the episode. Episode, mainly because if you want to get into VFX, don't take these tutorials as button by button blueprints, but instead as inspiration for you to come up with your own unique version. Similar to a color grade or preset, you don't add it and then just leave it as that. You use it as a starting point to get creative and then make your own. But after all that, you will have something similar to this. And that's it for today. Like I told you before, our spring sale is happening right now, which is going on until May 8th. All kinds of great filmmaker deals there, so check that out in the notes below. And I'll see you guys next week when I force feed a frog to an old dude to make him do my bidding. I am yours, my lady. I offer my services. I will shield your back and keep your counsel and give my life for yours if need be. I swear it by the old gods and the new. I just want to go to the bathroom. Winter is coming. <laughs>